All right, this way I got going here. Wait, wait, let me put the fence and we got to put the background there. That's what we got going here. So this is a little motor, right? This is a mock-up, right? It's just laying in the cradle. The problem, the issue that I'm having here is that the carburetor, the carburetor would fit, right? So the carburetor would fit, right? You just have to offset it a little bit. Just like that, you see? So I have to trim the bottom of the bed breather right here uh, in order for it to go in there. So what I've already done here, just got to sit just right, it has to. But anyway, so what I did was I took the marker I marked out the spot where I'm going to cut the air breather. Uh, in the meantime, the secondary problem here is, the secondary issue is, this is the mounting bracket that goes over. It holds the front clamp down. You see how we're short here? Like about a quarter inch short. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take these studs out. And I've got a piece of alt-thread right here. I've got a piece of alt-thread right here that's, that's a little bit bigger. Right, but I got the tap set here so I could just tap the hole and screw this all thread in, right, and then it fits in the hole. I've got some nuts over there in the bin. I just have to find the, the nuts to fit on this all thread. That's why I'm not going to do it until I find the nuts. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to screw this in, screw the all thread in until it's like about here, and then put the bracket on. Maybe put some rubber, because right, I have this really cool piece of rubber right here. And this really cool piece of rubber right, that's really flexible and pliable. I was thinking about showing you guys how to do a rubberized engine mount. I already cut out one for this piece in case I had to use it, right, for the foreplate. And I even started kind because the way I originally was going to mount it, I was going to put this little plate, and then you, know, you see how I started cutting it out right over there on the grinder wheel. I was going to put this little plate and have it fit down on the B, but then I realized that the carburetor was going to fit, and it was just going to be too, you know, the angle was going to be too great because you can sit down too far. All right, so I re redesigned my little theory here, and I came up with this one, right, so. I'm thinking about using that, right? Because it'll fit, right? It's, it's measured to fit over these two bottom, these two holes anyway. So I just put it on with the bracket. You know what I'm saying? With rubber on it. And then we can do the same thing with the back one since it's got that little piece that goes on it. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting ready to cut down the cut down the air breather. So I'm going to take it off, right? So this is me, Brian. Still doing the mock-up. I'm right, trying to show you guys what the plans are, right? Back for the speed bike. And just do rubberized engine mounts. Just the shit. Alright. Anyways. Alright, I'll put all this stuff away. Alright. Thank you.